rice. Madam Chair, Commissioners, Late Council, uh, viewers and listeners, members of the press, good morning. Welcome back to our daily proceedings from Monday to Thursday of this Commission of Inquiry into Local Government Councils and Related Matters. Uh, for our next item on our today's agenda, I have the honor to yield the floor to Madam Chair. Madam Chair, over to you. Auzubillahi minas shaitan rajim. Bismillah rahman rahim. I would call on Honorable Silla to lead us in Muslim prayers and Honorable Joanna to lead us in Christian prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. Auzubillahi minas shaitan rajim. Bismillah rahman rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا السرّات المستهيم السرّات الذين أنعمت عليهم خير ما ذب عليهم ولا ضالين إن الذين خالوا ربنا لا زل مستهامو تتنزل عليهم الملائكة أن لا تهافوا ولا تحسنوا وأبصروا بالجنة الذي كنتم تعدون نحن أليكم في هيئة الدنيا وفي الآخرة لا كن فيها ما تزيد أنفسكم ولا كن فيها ما تدون نزلا من حفر رحيم وما نحسن حول من دها إلا الله وأمير سهران وخال إنني من المسلمين سبحان ربي كرب إزة ما يسفون والسلام على المسلمين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين In the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. Almighty God and Father, the one whom we adore, we bow in silence at your feet today asking for mercy. Forgive our misdeeds. We commit ourselves into your care. Heal us from every infirmity. Take away shame, disgrace, and embarrassment from our midst. Enable us to be steadfast in our task and grant us divine grace and mercies as we continue to serve you with, ser with sincerity of heart today and forevermore. Amen. Um, Mr. Gig, can you please call in the witness? Good morning, Mr. Witness.
Mr. Witness, welcome back. Ikwe be bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, witness, for continuation of your testimony before this Commission of Inquiry yeah. into local government councils and related matters, may I remind you that you are still on the oath. Ikwe be hakilo bulandi lako ibe seriaro menna jang ye kali le nung walla ye ye kali mo le lun andung hanimbi o kuma kali mo le beloring ibe o kuma kali mo le kang bitum prisi hakilo tuo. On that note, I hand you over to Madam Chair for us to proceed. Madam Chair, over to you. Um, good morning, Mr. Jadama. Akwe Sama, Mr. Jadama. Yo, Sama, Mr. Kiyama. Sama, Baba. You are, you are welcome, Baba. Akwe Ibe, Bismillah, Ndila. Council, can we proceed, please? Thank you. Uh, Madam Chair, Pastor, we don't have questions for the first witness now. We will want um, him to be discharged unless you have questions for him. Um, before um, council, may I ask? Yes. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Jadama, <clears throat> um, you have told the commission that you that you bank the revenues that you collect. Yes. Now, uh, tell us which of the banks. Yes, you said Vista Bank and Eco Bank. Vista Bank and Eco Bank. Now, yes. now tell us when you started depositing at Vista Bank. Ako isa fonye ya damu ta wati jumale kakodo dundi Vista Bank. Twenty twenty one. It was in twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Before that, um, when you. In 2018, let me put it this way, in 2018, 19, and 20, um, when you collect the tax, where do you pay the money? I go about 2018, 2019, can I 2020? Near Kodo Kafu Nyoma, Eka Jo Mintu Alewotumo. Go Jo Era Council directly. Well, at that time, we come and pay directly to the area council. And um, at the area council, who do you pay these monies to? Ako area council je alikadi jumale kilina. Ngajo principal kasia yale. We pay to the principal principal kasia. Who is the principal kasia that you used to pay to? Jumale mo principal kasia te alikakodo di mena nungoto mo. Kanton ya kanton. Kanton. What is his name? Akanton wadu. Kanton ngawa atolo wale nyamana. I know the name kanton, but I don't know his own name. Can you please give him a paper to write? So that he can give us um, the principal cashier's full name. Akwebe kaito dilele ya safi principal cashier 
isakata furu furu isakon tongolo katu besula la la ah besula yes i will try that Now for the transactions in 2018, 2019, 2020, are uh, all of the transactions contained in your cash book? Uh, cool. Ako, for 2018, 2019, for 2020, yeah, menube, tamandi, kodi dundoto. Yes, they are all in the cash book. You were asked to bring <coughs> the, your, your other cash book that you did not bring. Do you have it with you here? Ako ye nyum fwe fana ila cash book kato ya fwe nunko ufatali ya deposit ya handover. Ya fwe ne puri ya nata, kofo ya nata le bang. Nyum shoma nyan shota jere, so kofo asa puri si chanti nan saa fine out den saa kawana. Well, I went there this morning to pick up the cash book, but what they told me was that let me give them time, they'll search for it and give it to me. Now, the Commission is ordering you to produce this cash book um, uh, on the 15th of April. Commission <coughs> Yes. But you can, you, can, you can bring it um, if you have it before the date. Because Ako, we are going on a recess okay. and we will be back on the 15th. Okay. By the grace of Allah, before that, I will think, I will try and bring it. And also bring us um, the, the, the records of monies you have deposited to this principal cash here by way of receipts, if you have any. principal Ibe sula la risito lu wairi ni adundi je kari risito dila le. Ibe sula la risito lu fana la le puri enati. Bismillah. Yes. Counsel, you may proceed. Um, Madam Chairperson, um, we will move that the witness be discharged temporarily. Oh. We will give him another date. <coughs> uh, Mr. Jadama, you. We will discharge you um, today, but we will recall you when we have new issues. And um, uh, you are also requested to bring the documents to us. Akobi ibebula lale pro yeta baribitu ni sulata ibe kumandi lale adusi akata ye kaito lumenu fe prie ni ni yenati isifereke ibulo ela ulukang yenati. Shuna ni aloso ndamfana ibole sambala. Yes, by the grace of Father, I will bring those documents. Thank you. A um, number. Registrar, can you please call the next witness? Saying, Namira Yetabulare. Nishitano. Ah. Afoya Barakaba Yetun. Blano. Nishitano.
Good morning, Madam Witness. Welcome back. You may kindly take your seat. Madam Witness, for continuation of your testimony before this commission, may I remind you that you are still on the oath before I hand you over to Madam Chair. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Okay, yes. Madam Chair, I hand over the witness to you. Um, Madam Cham, good morning. Morning, Madam. You are welcome again. Thank you. Yes. Council, you may proceed. Um, thank you very much. Good morning, Honorable Commissioners. Good morning. Madam Cham, how are you? I'm fine. Now, is, is it possible to give the same receipt number to the, to the same um, person that is paying tax? Can you issue out one receipt? Or is it two receipts having the same serial number? Mulenda Limuna Nyari receipt Nyum Yep Nyu Ambena number. Come Nyari receipt yet known to the same number. Did it? Lol Munta possible? That cannot be possible. Let, let me show you these entries in your cash book. Mune Munglawan. I've been there in a catibir, sir. Cast book be it is with regards to Abdullahi Ali Sehu Kunku Nobi and I think Babukar also. Mbiri Turim Limni, okay. Mbiri Nyunula. Are you there with me? Okay. Yes? This is the My apply. Apply. Yes, the one no. having the receipt number one seven one eight zero one. My receipt number is one seven one seven eight nine oh. One seven one eight zero one. One seven one eight zero one. Um, have you seen that? Yes, I see it. Who did you issue that that, that receipt to? Mne kanga your receipt bubu. This is not my writing. Whose writing is that? It was written by Dawuda. Who is Dawuda? Dawuda Kanla. Dawuda Njai. Dawuda Njai. Who is Dawuda Njai? Can I Dawuda Njai? My mom is not in the same office. I work with him in the same office. Now you, you, you will see that there are about two or three um, receipts of the same serial number. Mune bo set lo dinga gisne nyar wala nyeti receipt nyom nyep nyugi ambena serial number. Have you seen this? Mune nda gisna ko? Gisna ko. I've seen it. Is that normal? Mune nda lulu non la wara deme. The time bo machine bi la wan. At that time it was the machine. What about the machine? Machine bi nakala nakala. So, for example, like um, uh, 150, at you worrying at one of them, then they could have separately. Well, if you pay, for example, 150 and you should pay a lot of uh, money more than that, they do that separately. But then you should not photocopy the receipts, you should just print new receipts for, the, for, for every payment. I never will photocopy receipts. I never will receipt to ask for the people who are living in Is that not the case? I never will do that. Anyway, just answer the question. Is that not how it is supposed to be? I never will do that. Why do you want to do that? Yes, that's true. Now, if you have the same, same serial number and you issue out about three or four receipts, 
mëna ya ngi am ben serial number ba pare nga joxe ñaar wala ñeneen ñeta wala ñeneenti receipts it means you have photocopied one receipt mëna da fa melni ben receipt bi ngay jël diko 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 delo si and all the other amounts would not appear in the um in the print out ba pare yeneen nangami xaliss ya fa am lolu du geena ci bindam is that not the case mëna ndax lolu wa mëna am na Yes, it is a possibility. Can I please ha have the um, cash book? So you want to tell us now you, you are not, are not aware of this? Munenda, danga buga hane yeguloli. No, hena, damo ba in health si lifu niwa hamna ne ki mo ma kubinda alfe kata mbo mane kumafuf. Well, uh, it it is a possibility that I didn't check it out, but it was written by the other guy. Is there anything to show that it was written by someone else when this is your cash book? Munenda amga lenen lo muna wane pru muneka sedene kena na kubinda te chisa cash book la neka. I'm asking you. Munge elaite. Manda muna wane rek mo 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 ma fane kalonda. I just can say that he was there for me. Now I will show you another one with a with a different writing. Mune dina la wan lenen bo hamne bo butam benen fasungi bina la. You will now be shown about three entries with the same receipt number, Dina serial number. Dina la wan nyeti binda yaf yofadev. The first one you are shown. What is the serial number? Nyep bena number bila ni amune bunge kabini la wan nono. Lana neka serial number bi. Two eight eight b three eight. Two eight eight b three eight. Who was that receipt issued to? Can I bring the receipt, Bobo? Alpha Songko. Alpha Songko. Is that not repeated? Munenda Lulu, ne kudne dengko bring that. Aha kai. Yes. Again, to who was it issued to? Bente koko Bobo tam can I bring that? Munma ko bring that. I wrote it. Why would you have to? Receipts with the same serial number issued out. Mune luta ngai johe nyari receipt bo hamne yep bena number bila nyam. Anyway, manda dama gele receipt bila ma bila because ma fei nyari the fei nyari at ma ma bila ko. Bila di same di film direct. Well, the guy paid for two years. Then I just wrote out the receipt. You have not said anything here. You you have to tell us why you will issue the same receipt with with respect to two payments. These are two different payments, and you are giving out the same receipt with the same serial number. Mune limo lache, mu injari faila yohamne deng uti. Why bena receipt number bi ben receipt bin kujoh yep bena number bi lain am. Wah bena ni kimo fey so bena receipt bi mom la copy mom mula kenyar because nyar at la fey. It is the same person who paid, but he paid for two years. This is why I I I used the same receipt for him. Were you using the machines at this time? Mana time bo bunda hi na engage for send machine i. Wow, you need to machine. Yes, we were using the machines. Do you agree that for, for every print out, it will have a different serial number? Nda nangungane, wakatu bolin dugale darab temune ka binda. The fora amristi bopa. The fora the fora the fora am benan serial number. Wow, be. Do you agree that the machine will 
for every print out you will it will have a separate number mune limo la ci moy wa so binde be mu print wa ndax lolu do am benen serial number bu pam daf de am serial number yes it has it that is not my question my question is when you print a receipt for let's say amado for one payment yes mu ngi melni so binde so printé ben receipt pour amadou wa for one payment pour mu ngi fay ben yoon wa and the receipt number is 789 the receipt number bi nek 789 wa even if he pays again the second time su ñewé mu fayat ñaarel yoon will it be the same receipt that the machine machine will generate or a different number ndax machine bi ben façon receipt bi ak ben number bi la mo joxé ndax benen number la mo joxé ha lena la ko bugal won fi ni because fi i am not asking you about what is in the book i'm asking you about the machine you are using mung la laité affaire machine bi nga ligéyé bi nga jëfo lolu la mo laité fu just answer the question daf la jox different naka lan ko different receipt ak wa different receipt wa it will give you a different receipt with a different serial you know the truth but you want to mislead people mune dafa melni dal nga buga réral nit ñi why why now will you have two um, receipt with the same number mune luta nga am ñaari receipt te ñom ñep ñu ngi am ben number bi wa xam nga lima lima buga réral moy ñaari yi ni bi code number la bi receipt number la te receipt number bi fi ne bi 78 la bi 79 la what i want to clarify here is the one is a receipt number the order is a code the one uh, the one is 78 and the order is 79 you are you are deliberately lying ah mune li nga wax nonu dey du dega it's a deliberate lie mune du dega de you know sometimes you will lie and then it will probably be by mistake what you are saying is not true mune yene di nga wax fenn ba pare eh ñu fok ne da nga joom but for you now you are just you just want to you 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 are you are with your cash book right now you know the, the numbers are the, are the same now let me ask you mun ya ngi amé sa cash book té xam nga né number yépp bén la légui mu la laajté what is the receipt number that you have been shown right now mun né la nay receipt number bi nga bi nga woné ni légui moy bu alpha sonko bi that's the one for alpha so what is the number 7378 it is 7378 the receipt number the one with the 288 mune receipt number bi am 288 288 wow bobu on the code number la code mune he is saying that there's a code number bi moy receipt number bi moy code number bi the other one is the receipt number and the other is the code number What is the number for Yankuba? Mune Yankuba la nay number the the receipt you have issued to Yankuba. Receipt bi ngi jox Yankuba. 292991. How about Lamin? Mune Lamin nak 292996. Um I think you were shown So the, now one nine la the the cash book cash book bi wa and you see clearly the one that you have shot for for yankuba mu ne di nga gis lu nim mu gis set li nga jox yankuba now let me have it again
you will see a name Lamin Danso was issued a receipt. Mune dinga gis turi Lamin Danso johna inko receipt. Have you seen it? Mune dinga gis ngako. Wa gis na. I have seen it. The first code number is what for for Lamin Danso? Code number bunge kabi pro Lamin Danso lang la. Two eight nine nine one. Two eight nine nine one. And the receipt number? Receipt number bilang la. Nine two nine six. Nine two nine six. And then the second payment. What, what is the code number for for Lamin Danso? Nyarili Febi pro Lamin Danso code number bi. Second one bi. Two eight nine nine one. Two eight nine nine one. And then the receipt number? Receipt number bi. Nine two nine six. Nine two nine six. Is it the same? Menendak bena lain. Wah, bila don copy the same. Let's just have the records. No, yes, wah, the same lah. Yes, they are the same. Now can I have the cash book? And why is that? Mena legi lulu, luta lubara lulu. Bila don copy receipt number bi. When I was copying the receipt number. So, listen, bila kalian kau number bi dah mandi, kisah am nak mas start for sah, dia kalian umur kau. The number got lost. And there is something there which I started, but I didn't even complete it. Lagi, dah mukup, dah mukup bila the same living bila. Mana kau kau bela ni kau kau faham? Mana haram bila? Well, I I just repeated the number because I said as far as it was paid by the same person, let me repeat the number. But these things are also added in relation to the total amount of collection you have done for the day. Mana wali nak nyung kau boleh cint nangga mekhalis binga dah jeli cint besbi. Wow. Yes. Now, you will agree with me that there should not be any repetition in relation to the the receipt that you will collect the number. Mune dinga nango mumne warulo delu di bamtuar wala di bindar bena receipt number binga bindal kenen ga jelat di bindar lulu tamit purulenen. Wala wala lulu kay. Yes, I agree to that. And, and these are several um, def, it's a, several it's a occurrence in your in your cash book. Not once, not twice. You will see it very frequent in your cash book. Tello lune kud bena yon chisa cash book bui amna plus you bari pala yon linga hamne lulu amna. Do you understand that? Munenda understand the lulu. Wow. Yes. Now let's go to the you you gave an additional statement to the investigators. Mune jonga benen kadu boham ne dan kujo investigatorsi. Regarding the one hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. Linga ham ne mungu ne kachimbiri one hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. That was recorded in your cash book. Linga ham ne jung mungu ne kachisa bir cash book bi. Wow. Wow. Yes. We will show you the copy of the statement. Dina ingla one kadu bi boham ne dan kubindon. Is that your statement? Menenda lulusa wakla. Wow. Yes, it we is. We applied to tender the statement of the witness, Jenna Bacham, dated the... Second of April, 2024, into evidence as an exhibit. The additional witness statement of um, Jenna Bacham, dated um, the 2nd of April 2024, is hereby admitted in evidence and marked as LGC slash JC slash BKAC slash 004. As the commission places. Now you are told the commission what happened in relation to the 136,000 that I says you have collected. <laughs> Temeri June, ak fanwer ak jerom beni June. You said it was collected by one Mustafa Juf. Wahangane kinyo oye Mustafa Juf mo dajale halis bumbu. And he deposited that money into the bank. Mune yo koko dugal na halis bumbu si bank bi. Do you still stand by that statement or? Mune ndah bente chikado bumbu ngatau. 
Wow, who flew to how Bente? Yes, that's where I stand till up to now. But in your statement, but this is the one we have already admitted. Linga ke bin dev ke ti se deni legi. You seem to depart from that. Mune the family lulu the fa ute. It appears as if you are saying you have made this payment to what Mr. Kantong, the cashier. Why mungu mene danga wa fufu ne halis bobo yangu feichi cashier bikuu oya Mr. Kantong. I didn't say that. What I said. Halis B. This money. Mustafa Moko Faisi. Nasi Bangula. I don't know if Moko Faisi. Why? If I know Isilma. Bena. Slip Muna Mane Lini. It's on the name. It's Suma Masin B. It was Mustafa who paid the money. But I don't know where he paid it. But he brought this paper for me. And told me that this paper is in your name. So, mana kau ne nak kalau lulu mana ye, mana mana dah mada fon sa logo bi semua bir masin bi. I told him how is that possible? He said, selang la depsi masin bi. Logo bi, kom semua nak kalau kom lah. Password. Password bi. Yes, he said he used my password in his machine. That's why. Now, your statement reads. Mana linga wah? Wah. You said in your statement additionally concerning transactions in my cash book. Ngane nimdeme si mbiri halis bi nimo nim ningen kuli ge chisa cash book bi. You said this amount was collected by my colleague Mustafa Juf. Ngane halis bi suma koham le mamo ya mama ligi Mustafa Juf mo daja le halis bi. Who used my user ID on those transactions? Kinga hamne suma ID la use chi dajale halis bobo. And the difference of one thousand four hundred fifty dollars. Hamna linga hamne ute na lo hamne June nyenti temer ak one thousand four hundred dollars June ak nyenti temer may be the mistake of the recipient officer, Mr. Kanto. So sorry, let me let me correct that. It's one thousand four hundred and fifty. Mune june nyenti temer agjuro mfuka. Mune lolo muna neka kumni ningu muna neka mistake Mr Kantong kumni kuhayo. And in your last paragraph, the link bunda finger muzi enono. You said at the time we were not paying to the bank as we are doing today. Instead, all collections were paid to the office. And for my collection in question, I made the payment to Yaya Ba. Ngane watu bobo ne kulendi yobo halis bi bank, chi office bi ngende yobo halis bi te yon bobo yangu yobo halis bi chiki nyo oye ya ya ba. Did you say that? Yes. Yes. That's why I said you had admitted that you had paid this money to the ya ya ba. Why mane kumko lulu mo ambu hangane halis bi yangu kofe chi ya ya ba. Wow, no time bobo ne no de. Sume od sume difensi submission for lang dan yobu sumi halisi. At that time when we come for submission, that's where we took these monies to. But then you paid the amount to Yayaba. Is that the case? Mane wa halis bobu milio wa ni bobu chi Yayaba nga kofe. Manli ma fe si Yayaba mo i five thousand b. What I paid to Yayaba is the five thousand dollars. Then why will did the Yaya buy issue a, a receipt of five thousand dollars? Munenda Yaya ba na John la receipt of five thousand dollars ibobu. Did it? No. Can you can you deliver the receipt? Why Canton? It is Canton who provides us with receipts. And did can, Mr. Canton give you a receipt of five thousand dollars? Munenda Canton binda na la receipt of five thousand ibobu. The fajil niari yep mo bole ne. He took and uh, added the two amounts. There are no two amounts because you did not pay the one hundred six thousand dollars yourself. We are doing better now because the one hundred thirty six thousand be fair local. One hundred thirty six thousand be bubbling plus bubbling at at five thousand plus be. We just ma one hundred forty one thousand. Ama four fifty I don't know. It was the two which they combined and it gave me one hundred and forty one thousand plus. That's not possible because you did not make you did not pay the one hundred thirty six thousand dollars. 
You are saying that it was someone else who paid it. Mustafa Juf made the payment. Mustafa Juf, because I have audit. Madam Sikanto, Monaco. Lili Manmako, you see, B. Mustafa Juf, Moko, you see, Bang. I don't know, see, Bang, or I don't know why. Momo Jo, detail see me, Leg Makopiko, audit go, Legi, Damabu, Najok Marisi, Puri, Munama, Legi, like at Nyari, no, Dafko Bela Risit. I went to uh, the audit department and informed them that this other amount was paid by Mustafa Juf and this one was paid by me. But it was Mustafa Juf who uh, deposited the amount. So uh, I want to, uh, uh, I want you to give me the receipt for this. He said, okay, I will combine the two uh, uh, and provide the receipt for you. Show me where you have gone. Um, where in the case that you have been audited for this amount? I have been audited for this amount. audit. Wow, more audit yet, nyar yet. It was the same person who did the auditing of the two. That's the person who made these red correct red marks there in the book. Madam Cham, yes. if you are audited, what, what will show in the um, on the page that you have been audited? Sun la audite, lan 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 la lan mo wara fein chi kate bi bo ham ne bobo lan ya audite. What 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 will be there? Lan fa wara neka. I am not asking you what is there now. I'm asking you when you are audited. What will indicate that you have gone through audit unit and you have been audited? If I can audit the lab, what will you do? 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 That should be the signature that I am talking about. The stamp. And the stamp. And the stamp. I will tell you the stamp that I will tell you. At that time, we, we, don't have, we don't have a stamp. They will just sign. Which, which year was this? 2021. 2021. Madam Chab, you are dramatic. They have, they, we have seen several cash books with stamps. Even in 2020. Even earlier than that? Even earlier than that? So again, what you are saying is not true. Do you agree with that? Uh, Do you agree with what you are saying is not true? Do you agree with what you are saying is not true? Is this not, not a stamp from Birkham Area Council? Do you agree with what you are saying is not true? Do you agree with what you are saying? Let me show you just. Is that not a stamp? Munenda lulu do stamp. Wow, stamp, okay. Yes. Which year is that? Munenda ban atla. Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Which stamp? That stamp is from which area council? Munenda stamp bo bo ban area council la komo. Internal audit, wow. It's the internal audit stamp. Yes. Of which area council? Ban area council. Gitama. Brikama. Brikama area council. Wow. Brikama area council, yes. So you are saying that there, there was a stamp in 20... In, 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 is it 2018? 2021. No, I mean, the, the one I've already shown you. This is 20, 2018. Yes. Mm. Let, let me now show you your own uh, cash book for 2020. I'm going to show you your cash book for 2020. Just to show you that you are just trying to be difficult. Mune mungla wane dengabuga defmbir me puru muna hari rekwai lu am lulu lalawan. 
is that not your 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 cash book? Munenda lolo nwe kuri sa cash book bi satiri. Wow, sa cash book. Yes, yes. Is there a stamp on that page? Munenda fufu amna stamp. Wow, amna stamp. Yes, there is a stamp from internal audit. Is it munenda stamp bujo ge internal audit la? Wow, internal audit la. Yes, it's from the internal audit. Which year was that? Muneban atla. 2020. It was 2020. Now you see what you are saying is not true. So, Gisinga, Linga, one at a time, Bobo, stamp Amut, do the Do you agree? Menenda Nangunga. Do you agree? Menenda Nangunga. What you said was not true. Well, man, he must stamp on go. Why? Do not form a Nangulu. Why stamp on go? Take a sign for more sign, the same sign. She's saying that, well, like, truly, it was not stamped, but the sign, the signature is there. Now you agree with what you said was not true. Munenda legi nangu ngare linga wahu nunu dudega. Dina nangu because gisu mafu nunu stampi. Why? I will agree. What do you think? I will agree because there is no stamp there. Now there is no signature as well. Munenda signature sa ne kufa. Aha kai signature mufa. Well there is a signature. For the one hundred thirty six thousand dollars yes. Munenda purwa. Wow. Who signed? Munenda kana sign lulu. Signature mufa. Signature ba ngini. That's the signature here. Who signed? Mune kana sign. Mune ma remember kala why sign the move of. I cannot remember who it was, but the signature is there. Madam Cham. Madam Cham. This is not the signature of the auditor. Ah, mune lolo the signature be. And this not even a signature. Mune li sa the signature. The signature for the auditor, you will see, it's very clear. Auditor, who did the audit signature on the first of the set? I will show you the commission as well. Who signed the one more sign, bro? The person who signed this one is the same person who signed that one also. We will show the commissioners to, 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 for them to decide whether that is a signature. But I'm sure you know that is not a signature. The Nakowan commissioner and the new Viralne signature la wala do signature. The auditor's signature is very clear. When the auditor is soon signed, after they said, right? Everyone knows how the auditor signs in all the cash books. The Nyep Hamna auditor is a signature with the cash book. Yep, email. You are trying to say the signature is not a signature. When the young Yawan is a signature, la wala lead to signature. Now, Madam Cham, with all honesty, Madam Cham, Sunyan Sunjari Chiyoni Degabi. What we see in your cash book. Link is this a cash book? Be. If you cannot tell us who made that signature that you said was the auditor. Sunyumuno tawa kud kisain lolo linga wane auditor be moko sign. We will outright consider that you lied to the commission. The ninja pana kon danga final commission be because the signature of the auditor is very clear. Because the auditor be signature be mungi set. And that is not his signature. The lolo dafa ute ak signature be ni. So you will do yourself good and justice. Mungi me ni legi na purunga tawal sabo pachiko dega. You tell us whose signature is that that you are showing to us that is the auditor's signature. And if you fail to produce the person that made that signature, we will, we will cite you for contempt, for lying before the commission. And there is a consequence for that. 
te lolu amna yar bu ci top and we will give you up to monday the 15th to tell us the name of the person that signed it so that we summon the person to come and testify whether that is his signature dina la jox bebe ci lolu di fukki fan ak yorom ci wer so you have an option to tell the commission the truth pour ko ku ñew so fum nek ni am nga yon pour wax commission bi li dega the decision is yours and the choice is yours legi dak da fa def ci yow li nga wara wax li nga def council you may proceed madam cham um, who is the principal cashier madam cham can i principal cashier bi in 2021 ci 20 at 2021 uh, no muhammed nekon na fof muhammed was once there Now who issued you with this receipt? Kana la jo receipt bi ni? Receipt bi nek fof. Yes. The receipt there. Yeah. Kantong mo ma jobo. It was given to me by Kantong. What is Kantong's full name? Mo ne Kantong Turam bi ak Santam bi lan la. How much how much turbi is Kantong lek la ko xame? Well, I don't know the other name but we I know him as Kantong. Is Kantong different from Lamin Kante? Is Lamin Ke Kante? mune ndax canton dafa uté lamine ké kanté xaw mané man canton rek la ko xamé i don't know i just know him as canton do you know lamine ké kanté ndax xam nga lamine ké kanté wa am koku fam audit koku mom auditor la that pass that man is an auditor very well um are there any quick questions for the witness Yes, I do. Um, Madam Cham. Madam Cham. Yes. Uh, no. Sorry. Is it possible? Ndax muna am for collectors. Pour ñi nga xamne ñom ñoo dé dem dajalé xaliss. For them to have their own receipt books. Pour ñu am seen receipt book bopa. Receipt book book boba comme bo mo mo la lan dede pour ñom ñu am seen book bo xamne ñom ñoo ñom ñoo ñom ñoo ko jëfo ñom ñoo ko mom ñoo loolu lañu liggéey receipt book man receipt book bu am rek moy pour cancel bi momo day jox bobu the receipt book that ever i used is belong belongs to the council and does do they surrender all receipt books to the council when they are full Munenda si receipt book so you dem be fess de ngeen ko de doelo council bi waaw de ngeen ko de dero ga ñu sign ko auditor bi tampé ko yes we return it to the council they will sign and the auditor will stamp it what do they sign and stamp uh mune lañ lañ de sign nonu ba pare def ci stamp book receipt book bi lañ de sign ci ganaaw ba pare ñu stamp ko They will sign the receipt book on the back and put the stamp there also. Don't you have a register of receipt books given to you in the first place? Mune ndax amul téré bu mag bo xamné fofu lañ dé bi nda receipt book ci yépp yi ñewo joxé. Aha kay so dama jël receipt book dang dé sign so ko délo yi tamit di same thing. Yes, there is a book. If you go for a receipt book, you will sign for it. and if you return it also you will sign again no but she has just told us that they sign and stamp the receipt book itself not the register mune li nga wani moy receipt book bi ngeen de stamp ak sign way nekkut register bi register bi naka la register lan xam nga da nga wax ne amna téré bu fa nekk bo démé ñu jo la receipt book wa wow duñ ko dé binda wa duñ ko dé binda dañ ko dé binda dañ lay binda nomba du fin bi receipt book bi wa yeah if you go for a receipt book they will enter the number ci benen téré wa ci book lañ ko dé enter ba pare suñ ko enter nga sign ko well they will write it in a book and you will sign that book yes i do understand that portion the portion that i don't understand muna muna xamna lolu way fim mi nga xamne dal mu ko xam is when you return a full a receipt book that has been exhausted mune so liggey ak receipt book bem fess mu jeex nga delo siko 
Now the the that that receipt book that is full. Mm -hmm. That is where they will sign that you have returned the receipt book. It is only the auditor who will sign. Now, where does they go and sign the register? Well, mune fan lang de sign the register bi. Dang de dem si am na kude jo he book bi fof nga de dem jil ko nga sign si book bi wala ne jil nga book bi. There is a place where you go if you take a receipt book. There is a book in there which you will have to sign to show that you took a receipt book. Now is that the same person that you will go and sign when you are returning that receipt book that is full? Munenda si bena nit koko ngai delo, si koko ngai delo. Si feke ne receipt book bi lige inga kobe pare yangu delo. Si bena nit koko ngai delo nda. Wow, kima jo, kima kujo hon koko la kodi delo. Yes, I return it to the same person who gave it to me. So, in other words, that book exists. That register exists. The family tere bobo mufa so yel binga sign so so si feke ne jeh na ngadi lo siko fufunga sign. Wow. Yes. So jeh le dal fufunga dem di lo wat bobo wat. Yes. We would like to see that receipt book. That register. Register bobo dal buga na ikogis. Well, that uh, is with the council, uh, the person mm -hmm. responsible for He it. is being asked, she is being asked to bring that book here. Now, if she is going to Cancel. Yes, um, just to conclude with you, and then we will not release you. I will ask that the, the commissioners not to release you, but then to call you back for another day. Now, yes. what I want to ask you, Madam Cham, I have seen in you, are, you, are, you have issued receipts number 171783.: 171783 receipt number la binga hamne yako johe to one nabi balde johe nga ko kinyo oye nabi balde the same amount the same the same receipt number 171783 the same receipt number be 171783 four times four, four times to one nabi balde bobutam johe nga ko benen lamin balde the same goes to one babukar balde I'm not Ben and Babu Karbal the same. One seven one seven eight four. One seven one seven eight four. But four times as well. The same with Mariama Balde. The same with Mariama Balde the same with Mariama Balde the same with Mariama Balde one seven one seven eight seven. Again, five times. Five five times. Is that possible? So if you see, for example, like the code number, Bella, you have to you Well, if it is the code number, they will all be the same. How about if it is a different code number? Well, if you can have a code number, la. If you can be like you have to be like be like you have to be like you because code number, you have to be like you have to be like you have to be like well, if, if, if the person paid only once, it's the code number. That's what we put in the machine to bring out the information that we need. Now, I will just show you what I am trying to say here. Now, I will just show you what I am trying to say here. Madam Cham, there seems to be a lot of fraud activities going on in, um, in your cash book. Mana dapat mana lenen rambaj be be fen cik sakas buk bide. So many fraudulent activities. Lo ham ne dal, ait tapalela. Do you see what I am trying to say? Mana dah gisnya limo je mau wakni. Wow gisnya aku. Yes, I've seen it. What I said is it true? Mula limo ane dah degala. Wow. Yes. But you know that is um that is not normal. Mana ham gane lulu jadu. Wow, the same thing. Come to my colleague. Next to my bill, next to my bill. The same to my colleague bill. 
It is the same thing that I was saying. This is not my writing. My friend, the writings, they don't speak for the, um, themselves. The, it's your book, your cash book. Okay. And, and the receipt is in your name. The receipt Wow, Yes, I agree to that. So don't give us excuses. Wow. We know what you will do. You will get one receipt and you photocopy it and then give it to, to the same person. If they pay for, uh, um, multiple times, you will just issue them with multiple receipts with the same amount. You it's very clear. The person whom I left this book with is the person who did it. It does not matter. But do you know that is this is fraudulent? Wow, I have seen it and what you said is what's in the book. And the receipt it has your name. The why receipt be satura faneka? Wow. Yes. Yes, he used to use That's why I said to you, your entire cash book, this is what you will find. Or you will find the let's say for example the receipts will not be issued in sequence. For example, after 178, you, have, you, have, you should have 179. But then you will jump and you will not see the other, the other entries for, for the, 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 the sequence will not be there. Dinga gisne so set lo bu bax da fa melni so amé 178 daf dé top mu am yenen nomba yo xamné dal topalanté wuñ comme nim mora topalanté ci bu is that not true or, or do you want me to show you as well mu len dax lolu du dégué wala ndax da nga bëgg mu wan la lolu wa yéna say xam nga su fekké né comme machine bi la ndal mus su fekké yow ya ngi print té kenen tam mu ngi print for example, if you are using the machine and somebody else is also using the machine and it's printing, the numbers cannot be in sequence. No, this is your, your own. <coughs> Madam Cham. Madam Cham. You want to make us believe that these machines have problems. And we are very clear. Uh, we have been taken through how the machine works. What you are telling us is false. And um, the fact that somebody else is using it and is printing at the same time will produce this kind of receipts is not correct. What is contained in your cash book is very clear. And please don't mislead the commission. Thank you very much. Now, you know now um, the, the, the principal auditor testified. And said you people will only enter in your cash book the amount that you want to declare. And the ones that you don't want to declare, you don't, you don't enter it. Is that not true? Well, uh, whatever the machine writes, that's what I enter. Let me just give you an example. We have a receipt number for 12637, issued to one Fatu Sisi. I'm not receipt number 12637. What should be the next number that the machine should, should generate? The next number that the machine should generate is the next number that the one two six three seven. If you have that number, 
from the machine. What, 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 what should be the next number? One, two, three, six, seven. So, I'm going to go to the machine. I'm going to go to the machine. Eight. Eight, exactly. Eight, yes. But then you don't have eight. There's nowhere where you have eight in your cash book. You mm -hmm. have one, two, six, six, four. You have jumped. I'm going to go to the cash book. I'm going to go to the one, two, six, six, four. Let me show you this. And this is also rampant in your cash book. You will see almost every page that you turn to. Do you see that? Page you see that? Page you see that? Page you see that? Yes, I've seen it. Good. Can I have it? Why is that? Because be, be, um, 2021, 2022. This is 2021, 2022. Are, come areas, Bilafe? Uh, the, the, the money in question is part of the areas that the person paid. Madam Chambi, we are not talking about areas. We are talking about the, the, the receipt numbers. That, um, he just gave you a scenario. He said, the receipt number ending with seven. What is the next receipt number? You said eight. And you jumped from that eight to 60 something. That is what they are asking you. They are yeah. not asking you to give stories. They are asking you why the jump. Where are the other receipts that are supposed to follow Mune, before you get to that receipt number? Receipt number, last number, sa benen receipt number benen receipt bi number bu top lolu la wara neka way dafa melni dang de top lolu lañ la laaj lu wara lolu man ci suma gis gis man parce que ñun machine bi mala so su weke ne printa bala nga printa benen tu feke ne kene madam champ stop talking about the machine the machine has no problem there was no problem because it's only you that is talking about the machine being having problem here in the commission Mene, nobody has said that the machine has problem here and we have been taking through so please stop telling us that it's the machine that is we are asking you to answer the question so please answer the question la la where is the remaining receipts that have the sequential numbers that follow after eight last number eight Yes, it's because it's fraud. Uh, you cannot explain it because it, it, it's fraud. You people where you use the receipts, photocopy them, give to taxpayers, and then jump, and then, you know, you do what you want. With this, with this, with this, with this GTRs and these receipts that you need to produce and give to the taxpayers that have paid tax to you. There is no other explanation. Can you please give the book to the um, council? Council, please proceed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, when the principal um, auditor said that you the revenue collectors will only declare what you want to declare. That was correct. Mune komne principal kasiya bi suwa he ne ni de da jali halis revenue collectors ni de dem jali namoi limbuga dugal lolo regla nyo dugal nda lolo dudega. Kom kusobu he. For example, nga dem da jali halis yagi amen nanga msaloho. Wow. Chinanga mbogo. Wow. Linga buga dugal. Lolunga ya dugal rek MC lolo bude se chicken bude liite chicken au lolo dun dolen kubinda dun kodi binda. Ah, masi ni yangu hasi ya marka rek marka na dunga wara dugal lolunga wara dugal. Well, whatever uh, uh, you put in the machine, well, that's what the machine will mark. And that is why it explains why you will be absent for the purpose of uh, being audited on on numerous occasions. Mene lolo tamu lolo tamit mota. Aion you bari puru yangavara dem si auditorsi wai do de dem. Do you understand that? Munenda lulu understand kaku. 
Comment nous allons dans cette audition Yes. Yes. I have shown you your name where where you were absent on numerous occasions. Mon ami, vous n'allez pas sortir. Si on ne parle pas, il n'y a pas de mal à l'auditoire. Oui, si on ne parle pas, il n'y a pas de mal à l'auditoire. Oui, si on ne parle pas, Yes, if I don't have anything to take to the auditors. No, your your know. name will be. Do you want us to go go back to it again? Your name will be um, stated wherein you have collected um, revenue, and you will not go before the. When that thing about new deal award, she called Lulu. Finger ham ne set to run off. Why the mulo pro new audit land that Lulu? Thing about new deal award, she called Lulu. Several occasions. Lulu ab Lulu am na yon yubari. Mande, supaya kita dah jalan hal ini. Si masin di konferensi zaman subare dua dek dem, bem subare. Ia rasa tam sama dek dua dek sign sah paper bila mana fahate, dua dek ozek dem. Sometimes if I collect money which is not much, I won't go. And sometimes if I go also, I don't sign. I just deliver and go. Thank you. We will call you back, Madam Chairperson. Unless there are other questions for this witness. Book bi mangko buon po ma ma copy fimwa thirty six thousand one hundred and thirty six thousand bi bo utam it bi muna ma yobo copy bi muna siyad na di na komuna gisi laptop wan bifuf. The it guy is saying that he wants to check the book and see about the one hundred and thirty six thousand so that he will go and check in their system whether it will he will trace it there. Uh, Madam Chan, we will give you to copy the portion of the cash book that you need. It's already admitted in evidence. We are not releasing the, releasing the cash book to you. So you me. will wait for the registrar when we rise. You look at the necessary page and copy what you need from the cash book to take for your reconciliation. Colleague, you are the registrar. You are Set finger buga set finger buga copy lolo dina ila ko copy nyujo la kid bubu nga yobu ale wai cash book bi kom ka duga na yuko chitere sedei dina ko muna jo kunga yobu ha amu problem man sumo ame copy birek sumo kumu ne copy birek balama gina sa dem nyobi sumo copy copy birek yobu ale ko yes if I can just have a copy before going home let it be copied for me that will be enough for me madam cham you are um, just discharge for the time being. We will recall you. And, and thank you for coming. Register, can you call the next witness? Why didn't you let all that?
Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Welcome. You may kindly take your seat. You may kindly take your seat. Mr. Witness, for continuation of your testimony before this Commission of Inquiry to local government councils and related matters, may I remind you that you are still on the oath before I hand you over to Madam Chair. Yes, yes. I'm Thank you. Madam Chair, I hand over the witness to you for us to proceed. Um, Mr. Kante, good, good, good afternoon. Afternoon, ma. You are welcome back. Fine, thank you. Council, we may proceed. Um, thank you very much. Um, Mr. Kante, can you tell us your name? Your name full name, please. It's Lamin K. Kante. Lamin K. Kante. What, what, what does the K stand for? Kanton. So, so you're you Mr. Kanton, they, they've been referring to. I, I understand some people know you as... Canton. Canton, yes. Okay. Because, because I keep wondering when they say the Canton, and, and, when, and when I see the K, it, it signals that it is you. Yeah, it is me. Definitely. Now, please tell us when you started working for the for Birkama Area Council. 1999. 1999. We'll need you to increase your voice, please. <coughs> okay, okay, thank you. I will do that. 1999? Yes, yes. As what? Revenue collector. Do you have your appointment letter? Yes, I have the appointment letter. Do you have it with you currently? No, no, it's not with me. We'll ask that you bring your appointment letter, sir. Okay. Now, what position do you hold currently? Right now, I'm the principal cashier. Since when? 2015 to date. And how many cashiers do you have in your unit or department? Right now we have three. Right now means since when? Okay. 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 From 2021 to date. 2021. Yeah. How about 2018? 2018. How many cashiers were in Brikama Area Council? Two. Yourself and? Fatu Jaju. Fatu Jaju? Yes. And you said you are three in number currently? Currently we are three. But what, what are the names of the other two? Aida Jalo, Fatu Jaju. Aida Jalo? Fatu Jaju. Fatu Jaiji. Jaju. Jaju. What is the designation of, of, of Aida? What is his position? Is, is she a normal cashier or senior cashier? We know you are the principal. I am the principal. And then they are? They are all cashiers. cashiers. Yes. Is anyone, any of them senior to the other? Fatu is the senior cashier. Fatu is senior cashier? Yes. Senior cashier by designation or just by um, the way they have been employed? I think it's the way they've been employed because what was there before. I now, you gave a statement to the investigators? Yes. How many statements? One or two? One, one. One. Let, let me show you. We have two statements here. One is dated the 17th of November 2023. And the other as well, the same date. We will show you the two statements. Okay, all right. Spell come. Did you go to school, sir? Have you been to school? Yes, yes. I've been what, to is, school. What, what is your level of education? Secondary form. Secondary form. Secondary form. Which year is that? 1983. 1983. Which school? Brikama Secondary. Brikama Secondary. Did you sign those two statements? I signed this. I signed both both statements. You signed both statements. Yes. Then why did you say you gave only one statement? You know, 
first time when I came here, yes. I told you I just want to use the other statement and then leave others. Why is that? But right now, I think I will be able to continue with both. With both? Yes. Thank you very much. We apply to tender the statement of the witness, both dated the 17th of November 2023, and they are both signed by the witness into evidence as an exhibit. Um, for the purposes of clarity, both statements are dated the 17th of November. There are two statements. There are two statements. Both dated 17th. 7th of November. Two witness statements by the witness Lamin K. Kante, dated the 17th of November 2023, are admitted in evidence and marked as LGC slash LKK slash BKAC slash 001. As the commission places. Now, let us just jump straight to other issues, then we will now come back to your functions. Okay. Right. Since when did the revenue collectors in the Britain area come to start um, paying to the bank? the monies that they collect, or the revenue that they collect? 2020. 2020? 2020. 2020. So if any revenue collector says 2021, will that be correct? To say they are coming with cash. Yes, about. in 2021. It's not correct. It's not correct. Who gave the instruction that the monies that are collect collected should be taken to the bank in 2020? The CEO, the Chief Executive Officer. Who was the CEO at the time? Mam Said Jalo. Mam Said Jalo. Mam Said Jalo. Mam Said. Yes, Mam Said Jalo. 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 Did I hear Jalo? Jalo. Jalo, yes. Yes, I thought I had different. Now, you have said that in 2020, the instruction were or was at the time that monies collected by revenue collectors should be deposited to the bank. And for if a revenue, revenue collector says it started in 2021, that will not be true. That, that is not true. Good. Now, when did you stop receiving cash from revenue collectors as a cashier? I think this was in... in, in this was? It's around 19... It's about 2019, I think. 2019, you have stopped receiving monies from, from revenue, revenue collectors. Let yeah. me show you. You know when... Yeah. Je no, Go let, ahead, me, let, me, let, me, let me help you. Sir. Go Fine. ahead. There was a situation yes. whereby the CEO has said this to everybody that all cash should go to the bank. In 2020? In 2020. Yes. But it happens when, you know, there, there is a lot of cash shortages. Yes. So they, they have identified those under rates yes. can come up with the cash. Those under rates? Rates. Rates? Rates, rates, yeah, flat rate. Flat rate? Flat rate, yes. Should bring the money to, to the bank, to the, to the cash. To the area council, to the cashier, that, that's you. That's me. When was this? 2020. In 2020? Yeah, that was in 2020. Was this communication formal? Was there any letter to this effect? No, no, there was no letter. There was no then letter. how did the CEO issue uh, this institution out? Well, he is the overall boss of the institution. They, they sometimes use directives to us, so as to work under that. He told you directly, or it was in a management meeting no. that it was said? No, no, no. I have a manager, finance manager, one is responsible of my affairs. Okay. And the finance manager instructed you that this is the case. Yes. Now you know one Jenaba Cham? Jenaba Cham. Yes, yes, I know her. Do you used to receive cash from her? 20. 20? 2020, yes, yes. Do you? Let me show you. We have an issue regarding an amount of $136,000 that was issued, um, the GTR receipt was issued 
Was that your signature? Is that your signature? Sorry. Yep. Where is the amount? I just want to know. Sometimes I'm old fashioned. Is that your, 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 your receipt? No, no, no. No, what? It's not mine. It's not your what? I think it's this. This is the signature. No, it is not my signature. It's not your signature? No, no, no. That seems to be similar to yours. Are you saying it has been let, let me see. the, that's my, that's my the that signature? That's my signature. We need you to speak into the microphone. No, no, just hold the, hold the cash book. Bring it. I will request for it when I need it. The evidence we have gathered is that it is one Mr. Canto who issued out this receipt of an amount of $140,000. Is that true, sir? Anyway, I am not sure of general statement. I did not see anything, any, anything of anything pertaining to me with regard to the, the receipt that he is talking of. You don't agree? Yes, yes, I don't agree. You don't agree with her, her evidence? Definitely. Is the chairperson asking questions? Uh, no. Okay, I, I can proceed? Yes, you can proceed. Thank you. Now, Mr. Canton Kante. Very good. That's Is it Canton? <laughs> you haven't seen very good. <laughs> you, you like the way I, I, I am calling your name? Yes, I like it very well. I like very it. Well. Now, um, Madam Cham testified, and I think you, you even saw her live in the hall. Okay. And then she said that amount was collected on her behalf, let me say, by one Mustafa Juf. You know Mustafa Juf? Yes. He's one of our managers. One of your managers. Did Mustafa Juf ever give you an amount of $136,000 regarding that collection? Regarding that collection? No, I've never. You've never received that amount? No, no. We need to hear your evidence clearly. Can you. I, I, I just have so throat. Just three days back. Okay. But I will do my best to at least shout as I could. Please do. Please do. Mr. Kante, you can shift a little bit forward so that you can speak directly to the mic. Okay. And thank you. So you thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Yes. Um, so, Madam Cham said that the amount was collected by. Mustafa Juf, which Mustafa Juf admitted, but said that he, he gave the amount to Madam Cham, Jenaba Cham, who made the payment to you. Anyway, Madam Cham, what I learned from Madam Cham's statement yes. was Madam Cham cannot come to that, that amount. The amount, 136000 he cannot get that because he's working on the flat rate. So 100, 1, 000, 1, 1, 136 must come from somewhere else. Yes. Which I, I, I for one don't know. And I asked her what happened. What is this what is the situation? Yes. He said one Mustafa Juf, our, our line manager, yes. got into his program and then do this. Yes. So did, did you now find out? No, I, you know they should go back to the audit. They should go back to? To the audit department. But we have a receipt that appears to come from your office. You know, you have a lodgement law. Yes. So if you have, if, if it happens, you know, I have that under my desk. Yes. Anything that is in that in that in that lodge, I will give you that receipt. Yes. But with all that, you still have to go back to the internal audit for verification, because no. that's their job. No, no, wait, wait a minute. To whom? Where should they start from? Is it internal audit or, or in your office? 
they should start with internal audit. Exactly. But it happens. It happens when both uh, they usually go on track. We when when they both go usually go on track. Let's start with the the facts on the ground. We uh, the interest is we want to we want to trace or locate or see where this money is. Definitely. Madam Cham had clearly said said which Mr. Juf admitted in his statement. Okay. Not not all evidence but statement that in fact he collected this amount using Jeraba Cham's um, machine. Yes, this is what the I... A receipt like. was issued in Jeraba Cham's name and she said it was issued by your office, by Mr. Canton. It is true. What is, tr what is true? Because, you know, we have a lodgement log. Yes. So if, when I saw that, 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 that amount in Jeraba's Genova's column. Yes. I, I for one, I moved from that from my office to the internal audit. Yes. To ask them what happened. Because Genova cannot come with this amount. Because it's huge. It's very huge because he should not go above 10,000 because we know his collection. Yes. Our collection, sorry. Yes. So when I saw this, I have to report the matter to the internal audit. Yes. To take care of the situation. Yes. So that was, that's, that was the issue. No, no, we, no, we need to know where it has ended. Where the money is? The money must be with Mustafa because he's, he's, he should not have done that. It's completely creep anyway. It's, it's not no, correct. No, go ahead, go ahead. It's, compl no, oh, it's it completely. Is, it is not correct. You said it's completely criminal. No, I said it is not correct. You wanted to say it's criminal. Was, 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 was that a mistake? That was a mistake. Now, tell us about that receipt that, that is in that cash book. The receipt I There is a receipt for $140,000. Yes. I should give that receipt to Geneva for the simple reason that, you know, this was. You know, uh, this was a big blunder by Mustafa, which should have should not have happened. Did you and receive the money? No, this there is no cash payment at that time. I want to understand. In 2020. No, in 2020, the, for that of that amount, is no cash collection. Now, did you issue this receipt? Is this your receipt? Yes, it's my receipt. First you said no. First you denied. Now you are accepting no, it's your receipt. Maybe it's, it's the language barrier. I believe. What do you mean language barrier? Maybe I'm not very good in English language, so that, that, may, that may be the issue. Do you the now take, oh, no, no, if you're saying that it's serious, we need to know, are you comfortable speaking English? In yeah, I have to do my best. You concerned. are not under any pressure. I, it, definitely. You have to know you are not under any pressure or influence to speak English language. Yes, yes. Do you want to continue in English language? Yes, I want to. Good. Now, did you issue that receipt? Yes. Who did you issue the receipt to? I think it's Geneva. You think it's Geneva? Yes. Now, look at that receipt. Sorry, sir. Uh, Mr. Mr. Kante, can you be more specific, please? Because yeah. that cash book is Geneva's cash book. So if you say you think it's Geneva, we are not too sure. We are left to ponder as to I who you issued the, check, uh, the receipt to. I don't even see the receipt here. This is 14,140. 300. Yes. Yes, I issued this receipt to Geneva. Thank you. Yes, so we now know you, you, you have taken ownership of the receipt. Definitely. Co contrary to your position that it was not your, your receipt. Definitely. But that's not where the, the interest lies. Where well, I want to know whether that money was paid to the bank or it was paid into your office. Oh, it <coughs> it was paid according to Mustafa. They've paid the amount. There is nothing like according. No cash was paid to there me. There is nothing like according to Mustafa. No, no cash was paid to me. Let me ask you. You know, you have several issues regarding audit, audit findings and unpresented deposit slip. Now, if a, if an, uh, a revenue collector comes before you yes. and says that they have deposited an amount into the bank, let's say, Hundred thousand dollars into the bank. What will you do? Will you just issue them out with a, issue them a receipt Im Im immediately to show that um, they have paid an amount? No. Now explain the process. The, uh, our process is: if you happen to collect money, then you have to go to the bank and submit it there. Yes. After the submission, 
then you have to come to the office. You have to start with the internal audit first. Yes. Then from internal audit, then you come to my... And then what, what will they show you as the principal cashier? They, most of them come with their deposit slips from the internal audit. There is nothing like most of them. If the what money is deposited to the bank, what will they bring? Deposit slip. Is there a deposit slip in that? In that? This one? No. Yes. No. Was the pay payment made into the bank? That is what they told me. And you issued a receipt based right. on what they told you? Yes. Mr. Canton Kente? Yes. They told you, who told you? When you say they? I asked both of them. Yes. Jenova and Mustafa. And then? They said they put the amount into our account. Into an account? Yes. Both of them in, said that? Both of them said they have already paid this amount to our To, to your our, account? In our account, And yes. then? This is why this, that is why I gave them this receipt without any double slip. I am confused. So anyone, any revenue collector can just come to you and tell you that they have got, they have deposited hundred thousand dollars into trust bank and you just issue out hundred thousand dollars receipt. You know, if I give you a receipt, that receipt is an implication to you. It's an implication. Very big one for you. How? Because even whereas I am not there. Yes. The national audit will come. Yes. And you must tell them where where do you where, where you put this amount. Okay, that's how you so, see it. Uh, yeah, because if if you happen to take this, yes. know that it's accounted for. Oh. So if mistakenly, uh, you do not have this document with you, you uh, you know the national audit come, then the query is going to be for you, for you. For who? For the individual who is handling the cash book. So now you are waiting, God knows when the um, national audit comes. No, no, every, every one day or six months they used to come. They, 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 they will come. And they when they come, come then um, Mr. Madam Cham, Jenaba Cham, and Mr. Badjuf will have to account for, for what they where they done. put the money. Yes. But that's not none of your concern. Anyway, uh, that is. Where is the money? Yes. Uh, Mr. Kante, um, uh, I may be wrong in understanding what you are saying, um, but it seems to me that you are telling the Commission that it is none of your business if they don't present a deposit slip from the bank as, so, as long as they tell you that they have deposited a particular sum amount in the account. Is that what you are telling the Commission? No. Then you know, I, what, I, I, what, what, what made me to, to, to be very comfortable with them was the signature of the, uh, the, 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 uh, the audit. So if I, if, I, if I see any signature pertaining to the audit department, I am very much confident that it is in good order. So what do they present to you that gives you an idea that they have done their audit, they have done the, the auditing, and they are now before you. What, 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 what document do they present to you? Normally, mm -hmm. they come with their uh, cash book, yeah. audited, uh -huh. and then receipt attached to it. Okay, the lawyer will come to that. But we have seen, through the interrogation of some witnesses, okay. that the auditors will not sign these books, they will not sign off. And yet still, a receipt would be issued to the collector. Anyway, that is where I'm elaborating. Yes. If you happen to get our receipt, yes. know that you, it, it is already accounted. So if you happen to go with that, I think you, if you can deceive me... It's accounted. That is not correct. It's not already accounted. Because if what I told you now is what you find in all the cash books in Brikama. Um, auditors will come, they will not be audited, uh, collectors will come, they will not go through the audit, and they will be issued receipt at the level of the cashier's office. No, no, no. Uh, it is at times that, you, you know, the auditor will audit, and then they will go and get the receipt. Receipt. And yes. most of the time, they will not go before the auditor. Okay. And then the, the cash office will give them a receipt 
evidencing that they have deposited the money. Uh, we tell the cash office requesting for the deposit slips in the first place. Okay. Because that is what just you told the commission. Okay, let me highlight that to you. All right. They must come with the, first of all, they must come with the deposit slip to me. Yes. That one is, 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 is natural, they should do that. Secondly, they should go to the audit department for auditing. So any of that nature, if you see it, if it is from me, I, 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 I will tell you that it is, there is nothing wrong with it. There, there is, is not, nothing wrong with what? With, with the receipts I gave them. Yeah. If because it is you. Me, yes, because sometimes I may have lock in front of me. They, they, they will give me their copy of lodgement log. So sometimes I will just go through that lodgement log and see your amount there and give you the receipt that it is required. You know, some may not even, they, they will tell me I leave the deposit slip here, I will leave the deposit here, but the lodgement log is in front of me. So I will make sure I look that lodgement log and then give you the actual fact what is in the lodgement log. And after that, I will advise you to go back to the audit department for your own personal security. Because already this, this amount is already in our lodgement log. Council, can you proceed? Yes. Please. <laughs> uh, Mr. Kante, I was listening attentively. But I am bewildered as to the process. If I go to the bank and make a payment, I should be given a receipt. Very well. And after the bank, where do I go to in the office? First, you have to start with internal audit. Okay, just hold on. I will go to the internal audit together with my slip. paying in slip from the bank. Yes. Okay. Thereafter, after the internal audit has been certified, then you what do I look for? Uh, my then receipt. they go to where? To, to, to come for my receipt now. They come to you for their receipt. For their receipt. And you will look for the internal audit's uh, signature and stamp. Yes. Right? And also the receipt from the, the bank. Very well. Okay. If one of them is absent, do you still give them a receipt? Yes. Why? Because I have the lodgement log with me. Mm -hmm. So with that lodgement log, I will know that this amount should be part of our money. Now, let me, let me ask this question. Okay. Couldn't the lodgement, lodgement log be doctored? That is, do something funny with it? No, no, no. Okay. Now, for example, this 136,000 that was that you gave a receipt for. Did you see it in the log, lodgement log? It's there, it's there. It's, Can it's, you produce that lodgement lodge? No, that one is with the auditors. You, we are asking you to bring that because that's what you saw to make you to give them that receipt because you don't know whether they paid the money into the bank. Neither can you say they've given it to you. You just said you saw the amount and you issued them with a receipt. Okay, okay. And the lady is saying she gave the money to you. Not me. But I, that's her testimony. Anyway, this is what I'm telling you. No yeah. money is given to me. Now, the lodgement log that has that 136,000 plus what giving you the 141,000. I think it's about 4,000 some. 4, 4, now, 4, could you bring that lodgement log here for us to say yes, we've seen and we will ask where that money was lodged? Because neither Mrs. Cham nor Mr. Juf could tell us whether they have paid it into the bank. Okay. You yourself have said you have not received any money. You give them the receipt based on what you have seen on the lodgement log. Definitely. That's why we are requesting that you bring that lodgement log that gave you the, 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 the authority to issue them with a Brikama Area Council receipt 
of 141,000. Okay, okay. Sir, Thank I, you. I will do my best. Surely I will bring it. Um, just, just, just let me just find out. Is it the receipt? Can you tell us how much is in the receipt that was issued? How much? It's 100 and what is, what is the receipt that was issued? The 140, 300. 140? 300. 140, 300. One, 140, 300. 300. Yes. Well, if you, if you, um, the, uh, Madam Cham gave evidence here. And if you put the sum total together, it will not be 140, 300. It should be 141,750. Okay. Because she has explained a sum total of 5,750. There was um, a difference of 1,450. And when you put the amount of 136,000 plus 5,750, it will give you 141,750. So even that receipt that you issued is wrong receipt because it's not 140, 300, it should be 141,750. Correct. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify that. Council, you may, uh, sorry, Commissioner has um, a question. I'm just going by your statement, Mr. Kantong. I'm, I'm, I'm very much worried. When you said you issued the receipt and you'll be left at the mercy of the National Audit Office, what do you mean? You see, Auditing is done by sampling. In case the NAO, NAA comes and then it doesn't form part of their sampling, so that money goes into pockets and down the drain, and it's a huge loss to the council. Is that way what you want to? Is that the policy you are adopting? Is no, that no. good enough in accounting? No, no, that is not it. Me, my my position, I want everything to be accounted. I want every collector to go. Sorry, I don't think you want that to happen. Because if you can say, I can issue the receipt, and then when the auditors come, it will be your business. That's, that's, it's, it's, it's very irresponsible. I'm sorry. No, you are, that's, 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 that's How correct. can you say that? That's correct. Council, please proceed. <clears throat> Mr. Kante. Uh, are you with me? Yes, yes, I'm with you. Now... That that part, um, that amount of um, one hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. Which year was that? This was in twenty twenty-one. Twenty twenty-one. Twenty twenty-one. Was that amount supposed to be deposited to the bank, or was it supposed to be paid into your office? No, it's supposed to be at the bank. At the bank. What was that part um, audited by, by the internal audit? Yes, it's audited. By? It's audited Please by Please look properly. It is look, look properly. It is audited. By? One Lamindrame, an internal auditor. Is Lamindrame's name on that page? What will show you that Lamindrame audited that? That's the... What is there on that... On that? On that part of the collection to show anyone or the commissioners that Lamin Drame audited that? The marks are there. Which marks the, are there? The red pen. They use the red pen. So anyone that uses a red pen, it, the person's name will be Lamin Drame? No, no, no. How Clement do you know? Two is using red pen. All How do you know it's Lamin Drame? Through the signature. Is there a signature there? There is. I don't, there is. There is. A this signature is, of Lamin Drame? No, this, this could be. Yes. It, no, this is Amadou Jobate instead of Lamin Drame. Mr. Kanton Kente, you have to stick to one story. Is there a signature there? This, this is the signature. Is there a signature there? Yes, there Who's, is. Whose signature is that? Anyway, I, I, I cannot attest to that, but there is a signature. Okay. Yeah. Now, is there a stamp? No, no, there is no stamp. Will audit normally stamp um, when they when they audit a, a particular collection or submission? To will there not be a stamp? 
to indicate that it has passed to the audit unit? Yes, yes. Is there a stamp on that particular collection? No. What does that mean? You know, uh, as, as of now, we have one stamp. No, I'm not asking you that. Let me, I if want there to is no stamp, what, what does it mean? It, 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 you know, we have one stamp in our, in our institution as of now. Okay. Okay, and this stamp is with the uh, senior auditor. Sometimes he may come late when these junior officers are working. Okay. So if he is not available, they used to do a uh, sign for... for, for so the senior auditor will be having the stamp in his back and go with it? No, he's, he has his own office. Okay. Where he normally close everything there and go home. Did that, pa did that amount pass through internal audit? Yes, it passed through. Is there anything there to show it has passed through internal audit? I think these are evidence. What is evidence? The red pen attached to it. And then the signature here. Is it not possible that anyone can just have a red pen, a red pen um, written or described on that page? And not necessarily in the anyway, audit? Anyway, I doubt it very much. Is that much. possible? That is possible. That is possible. Good. Now, and there is no, no deposit slip in, on, on that page? Yes. Why did you issue the, the, um, the receipt? This is what I am trying to explain. Geneva should not have come with this amount. Forget about Geneva and uh, Mustafa Juf. Why did you issue a GTR receipt from your office as the cashier? You know, this is not the first time. You know, you, you and I know this is the first time. There are numerous instances that we will show you eventually. And you know, it has been featured in the, in the audit reports. Okay. That there will be unpresented deposit slips. Now I ask you, what do you know about this particular payment? Well, was the payment done to the bank? Yes. Which bank? Anyway, I cannot attest to that. Well, this is what I, I, in fact, I asked, uh, asked both of them about this. I asked Geneva and that of Mustafa. And Mustafa confessed to me that he entered into this man's you know, machine. Yes. And then the amount is paid to our account. To your account? To the account of did he, did he provide evidence to that effect no on, on that day he did not provide any should evidence. you give a receipt without without evidence no I should not Th then that. why did you give it i believe in him and i don't think he should lie to me okay he should not lie to you definitely i uh, when you issue gtr receipts and let's say um, a revenue culture brings a deficit slip do you issue an amount more or less or the same with the deposit slip? It should be with the same deposit slip. It should be. There are instances where you will issue GTR receipts that are more than the deposit slip. Yes, yes. Why would that be the case? That may be the Alcali Commission. Alcali Commission? Yes. Okay. Or? Let me come with one evidence for you yes. to identify. Yes. That is one so that everybody can see by yourself. There is one evidence. What is this? What is this? That's the Alcali Commission. It's all, it, it's come from the rates collectors. It comes so from rates collectors? Only rates. Flat rate, I mean, not value property or any other collection. It's only flat rate. Go they, ahead. Will they will have the bank slip and then the Al Al Alcali's commission. Yes. Si uh, uh, stamped by the Alcali, endorsed by the, 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 the Audi Audi Auditor General. So they make this preparation and go to the audit. I mean our internal audit. We, we just call him general. Go ahead. Please proceed. So they will come with that that, that amount. Then they have to they have to put it together and give him the actual receipt. So they will normally ha have a voucher. They will have a voucher. Very good. Very good. Now. 
Let me see Jenaba's cash book. Is is Jenaba a rate quarter? Flat rate quarter. Flat rate. Flat rate. Can I can I see that? How much is the alkali alkalos commission? Ten percent. They are giving ten percent. Can I see that, please, Mr. Kante? Yes. You will have to, to tell us why that amount, uh, where that that money is. The the one thirty six. You must tell the commission where that money is. Do you understand that? Yes, yes. We need evidence regarding the the where that, that money is lodged. What? One third account. Okay. It was lodged. If not, it will appear as if you had you had colluded with the with any with either Mustafa, Juf, or Jenaba Cham, or both of them with, with respect to that amount of money. Anyway, my consent cannot allow me to connive with any other collector to take money just like that. You will find out. Now the we will we'll come back to the issue of Jenaba. The 2019 audit report for the December 31st, 2019 audit report. Have you seen this? I'm asking whether you have seen the 2019 audit report. No, no, I, I, didn't, I did not see it. You have never seen it? No. You have never seen this report? No. But in your statement, you had made mention of the report. Is that not the case? You have said that on the issue of the 2019 National Audit Query concerning unpresented deposit slips amounted to 44 million 29,746.76 bututs. I was not informed by this audit query, otherwise I would have searched and provided the information at the time. I come to know the audit query during my interaction with the investigators. Now, what, what, what can you tell us about this, this unpresented slips no, you know this you didn't know before now you know you have known this yes. um, since when since, since November since I got this information from the the, the the investigators yes I went back to the office yes and asked them what happened because if this is here I should be the first person to be aware of it yes and nobody happened to explain anything to me yes so, but what I did was I, I, I do my own work so okay. as to at least to remedy certain situations. To remedy then, the situation? Yes, the situation. All right. And then my position as a cashier, yes. I do the consign with the finance manager okay. on a daily basis. Yes. Any, anything that I, 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 I got on that day will be reconciled. Yes. After reconciliation, yes. Then the, uh, the, uh, I will go to audit for them to help uh, to to audit it and then give me back my T uh, GTR. Good. That was my limitation. Everything I am under the control of a, a finance manager. Forget this story. We want to know this where these deposit slips are. Since I am in this, I, I have never been to any bank to deposit. Or to, to do any no, 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 no. You were the cashier. The same way I've shown you evidence of you issuing out the the GTR receipt for Jenaba Cham without the deposit slips. Yes. It's what this, these findings are. Okay. Do you have deposit slips for these amounts that you issue out receipts for? That amount? Yes. It's $44 million plus. Yes, I understand. It's $44 million plus. That you have given GTR receipts for? To, to, yes, that, that is my job. I should have given GTR to a, each and every collector. You have, but where are the deposit slips? Anyway, I did not make any deposit to any bank. The, but then I have... The assertion is not that you have made deposits. Yes. That is not the assertion. It is that payments were made, receipts were issued, but there are no evidence of it being taken to the bank. Okay, I, I, have, I have made my own findings and commit certain facts from bank. And what are these facts? This, this is one of the statements I receive from banks. Yes? Yes. That's the what, statement. What statement is that? I received this from one from Vista Bank. Yes. Trust Bank. Yes. Which year is that? 
This was in 2019. Yes. It shows. What is the amount? After I will give you the amount, you access bank, Eco Bank. All in 2019. All in 2019. Yes. That's my. That, that is the money that you, you, you deposited? No, it's, it was deposited by the collectors. Yes. Some of them are, in fact, you know, deposited by the, uh, the, the, the by finance manager. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah. I'm listening. They are the depositors. I don't even have any interference with any bank during that time. Mr. Kante? Yes. When revenue collectors go to the bank and deposit revenue they will come to you after from the internal audit and they will present you no, with their deposit slip no this was in 2019 yes this, this now this was ca ca cash payment it's cash payment fine now which means you will issue you will receive cash issue out receipt and that there is no evidence of of deposit slip it is in fact worse yeah there is it's in fact worse because the amount of the amount would be in your name yes that's what i learned from the investigators yes but my job is limited to my book. Where's your cash book? No, no, I, I, I'm using GTRs. Do you, do you not have a cash book? <coughs> the, the cash book is with the finance manager. You yes. don't have a cash book as a cashier? I do have a cash book where I do my postings. Where's your cash book? Anyway, uh, during the course of this August, August we have... Uh, rain. No, 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 not rain. Wind. Wait, let me call it. I, I went for I, I, I went for a leave. Yes. Then I, I went for an annual leave, August. Yes. I come back to the office. Yes. I found out that they transferred to another building. Yes. Which you no, know, I wasn't present at the I, time. And then you lost your cash. So no, I could not see the cash books. Yes. That's the story. No, Suleiman can attest to that. My because I left everything with the auditors. I know. That is the story. The story is either there's a wind or there's fire. Or it was lost in one way or the other. That's the story. The bottom line is you have to produce the cash book to back yourself up with this amount of money that you have collected. Do you understand that? I understand what you're trying to put across. Yes. No, it's not me try to, trying to say that. It is the findings of the auditor. In fact, I, I, I forgot that in 2019 you will collect these monies in cash. 2019 is yes. cash collection. So I was thinking that it was monies that were taken to the bank. So, uh, this um, is what I'm telling you. My, our no, system at that me, time me, is... Mr. Kante, let me just come in here. Um, yes, um, the, uh, the council has referred you to the 40 million. That is different from the findings of the auditors, which is stating that your office, and particularly you, um, collections amounting to 60 million, 613,728. Um, is seen to be uh, posted in the cash book, but there was no deposit slip presented to confirm if these amounts were banked. And let me give you the same audit report for 2019, wherein you as the treasurer, I will not even refer to the areas where you are treasurer, but the one specific in your name, that is the um, uh, which is you issued GTR receipt number three zero one two six zero eight one three six zero stroke twenty twenty. <clears throat> For the sum of one million seven hundred seven hundred thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars, and this was on the thirtieth um, of August, twenty nineteen. Uh, Mr. Gay, can you please give this to um, the audit report, twenty nineteen, is page fifty three, where you have the one million, the GTRC issued, and this where because you said. Re remember that you have told the commission that you started depositing monies 
in the council's account in um, 2020. So this money, for example, I'm just giving you a random number. Okay. This one million, you received in cash. And it cannot be traced in any of the banks. Please confirm. This is not involved my GTR. It's, 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 it's not in fact my GTR. This number does not belong to Lamin County. Mm -hmm. yes. <coughs> yes. Did you I, I I saw the I saw it in the cast in, in my under my name, but I have never got this kind of GTR numbers. No. So now what you want was is the cash. Was your cash between your cash? Did you give your cash? 2018 um, to 2023 January. That is what we need from you to present to the commission. Uh, the cash book? Yes, the cash book 2018 to 2023. Anyway, right? uh, anyway I will do so, uh, you uh, and um, also please note give him a notebook to note please also bring us all the lodgement logs that you use as a basis of issuing all the um, receipts that you have in the different cash books no for the I, 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 I just follow this lodgement log the one you are handling that is what I am following no that is what I'm saying but you have copies of the lodgement log because you said you have the lodgement log before you that is what you they, will check i, I used oh, to go I, there sir? i used to go to them and have my own copy yes. i just copied it on my own yes but when this when i went for this uh, uh holiday, mr 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 yeah. mr um kante, kante yes. We, yes um we don't want to make any assumptions and there are serious issues that have been raised and particularly amounts of money up to 100 million, more than 100 million. Mm -hmm. that, has been, that is in the documents. For the small sample exercise that we have done, more than 100 million in terms of receipts and, you understand, undeposited amounts of money to the Brikama Area Council. So it will do you good to provide us evidence showing why you issue these receipts and why we cannot trace these amounts of money in the banks. All right? Anyway, so, Council, I, I believe it is a convenient point to stop. We will continue, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Kante, okay. after my... Uh, Madam Jane, about cash books, are you talking of the cash book one, huh? Sorry? Mean you're talking of cash books? Yes. Okay. And the lodgement logs. And the lodgement... Yes. Okay. Are you done? Yes, sir, I'm done with that. There is a piece of paper.
Um, I just have a small announcement to make. I wish to inform the general public and viewers that um, the commission will go on recess from the 8th to 11th of April, and we will resume on Monday 15th of April 2024. And on my behalf and on behalf of um, the honorable commissioners, we wish all of you a happy Eid. Thank you so much. And uh, Mr. Kante, you are hereby um, discharged, and we will see you on the 15th at 10 o'clock in the morning. Thank you. Thank you.